I'm not exactly sure what my upstairs neighbors are doing. They're either drilling holes in the wall or drilling each other. Either way, I'm not amused. Well, August has reared its ugly head, which means that it's nearly the end of summer and the beginning of school is about to begin. Which, thank God, I don't have to deal with school anymore because I don't think I could handle it anymore. I just didn't, I'm not a fan of school. I didn't like going, I didn't like the homework, I didn't like dealing with other people, other students. Whole thing, not a fan, not a big fan. Had to do it, but just not a fan. So here's some back to school tips from me to you. Let's start with the first one, which is dress in your favorite outfit. Now, I'm not saying wear that cute little black dress because obviously most schools probably won't allow you to wear that. But find your favorite, most comfortable, fashion forward clothing that you like and wear that. When you find a good outfit to wear that you really feel comfortable in and it looks good, wear that on the first day. It'll give you the extra sense of confidence to just go out there and be bold. And for this, you could add to it a little bit and find like a power color. Like power colors are those very bold, big colors like blues, really like interesting blues, like the Superman blue right here, uh, deep reds, something that makes you feel powerful and gives you a little bit more focus than the other students that are gonna be around you. Now my next tip may sound a bit weird, but hear me out. When you first walk into class, walk into class like it's prison. Basically what I mean by this is walk in like you're going to fuck somebody up. Because no one wants to mess with the person that looks like they're going to fuck somebody up. I don't know if you want to develop some type of power stance or some type of walk or something that may give them the impression that you may want to fuck them up. But basically walk in like you will punch the biggest person in there. Don't do it. And like I'm not saying walk in there find the, the alpha and then just punch him right in the nose. I'm not saying that because you'll probably get kicked out especially since it wasn't antagonized, but I'm just saying walk in like you would do that because that idea gives them the thought that, wow, this person's super confident. I don't want to mess with them. You know, let them be them. And then eventually, you know, your real personality comes out and they'll start to see that you are this crazy person, but maybe you are. I don't know. I think a lot of people thought I was. I, maybe I am that crazy person. I am talking to myself at this very moment while being recorded. So there's that. My next tip is more like advice slash a tip. So I'll start with the advice part, but basically don't be afraid to make conversation. And my tip part of that is, is prep some conversation pieces, prep some topics, things that happened over the summer, what you did, maybe a TV show that you watched or something on Netflix or a movie that was a big blockbuster that you really enjoyed. and and prep a few because maybe they didn't see that movie or maybe they're not interested in what you did over the summer. So prep a few topics so that way you always have something to kind of talk about and you're not caught off guard. Especially if you're that type of person that doesn't know how to start a conversation right away, it's best to kind of come up with some prepared plans that you can just like throw out nonchalantly and seem like you know what you're talking about and then you can bring it off the top of your head like that. Just like bam, right there. Now the next tip isn't something necessarily for just the first day of school, but I'm throwing it in there as like a first day of school and you know, going back to school or in school in general tip. And that is to stand up for others who need it. Anyone who has a special disability or any of those types of things or someone who's just relentlessly made fun of and doesn't have the confidence to speak up for themselves, stand up for them. If you have the confidence to stand up for yourself, you should have the confidence to be able to stand up for somebody else who needs your help. Don't let somebody else be bullied just because you don't feel like getting involved. There's a syndrome called bystander syndrome. Most people won't do anything at all to stop what's happening because they think, oh, I don't have to do anything because someone else will obviously step in and help. But if everyone had that mentality, no one would step in and help. So someone might get robbed or injured or abused on the street and no one's going to help them because they all have this bystander syndrome inside their head thinking someone else is going to step in. Oh, someone else is going to step in and then no one steps in and that person ends up getting really hurt. Uh, maybe even dies on the street. I don't know. I'm that's going very extreme for what this topic really needed, but you get my point. 
Don't be a bystander. Be someone, be a powerful person. Be a leader. That's what we need in this world. More leaders that are willing to do what needs to be done. This next tip doesn't necessarily have to be the first day of school, but I'll map it in there somewhere so it makes it seem more, like it makes sense. Don't be afraid to ask for help. If you're lost and you don't know where your class is, just ask somebody. Try to have the confidence to speak up to help you better your surroundings. And if you have a problem in class, you don't understand the material, you don't know what the teacher's saying, ask someone for help. Ask the teacher for help. Ask another student who you think is very smart. The one, the one in the front who's taking lots of notes, get, make friends with that person, actually. Make friends with the smart kid, all right? Because he's gonna help you and he's probably not the most popular person. Sometimes they are. I find it weird because sometimes you get that super popular smart kid and it's just like, whoa, what the fuck happened? Like, I don't understand this, but it's cool. It's cool. I'm not judging in any way, shape or form. I'm just saying, it's just a little weird. And my last tip for you is actually something you need to do a little bit before class, whether it be, you know, an hour before or maybe the day before, you should learn the lay of the land. You should try to figure out where your classes are if you can. You should learn where the parking is if you, if you drive and you're driving on campus or wherever. And you should also try to figure out where you are in the buildings, at least that much. Like if you know where the buildings are, if you're going to, to a college or a university, if you know where the buildings are, at least that's a good stepping stone for you. And try to like figure out where parking is compared to where you're going. Cause sometimes you might know where you're parking and you might know where the building is, but you don't know how to get there from parking and it gets real, gets real weird. So try to figure out how you're going to get to your classes before you even go to your first day of class. Because there's been too many times where I was like 10, 20 minutes late because I, I didn't know that, uh, the parking structure would be closed that day. Well, I hope my tips have helped you in some way. Get ready for classes. At the end of August, I'm sure almost all of you watching are off to school and going to enjoy that. No, I'm just kidding. I can't even finish that sentence because I know you all will hate it. You're just gonna hate it. You'll all suffer through it together and you'll just be better people for it like I am. I also can't finish that. Am I a better person for it, really? I mean, maybe a little bit. Probably not at all. If you want more advice and tips from me, follow me, subscribe, hit the thumbs up button on this video so I know that you like this kind of stuff. I would love, I like giving advice. I love giving you tips on things. And don't forget you can follow me on all my social media. You can find that in the description below. So until next time, my little students.